Winona voters put in their two cents worth, and now the city will be collecting a little extra tax money. 72% of voters agree that two cents makes sense for the town. WCBI's Jory Talley joins us in the studio with more on how that little extra pocket change will be making a big difference. Andre and Joey, two cents out of every dollar is how the new tax tourism will work, but you'll only be paying this two extra cents on one thing. Slogans planted around the town read two cents for a better Winona, and that's exactly why the city has been pushing for the tourism tax. One of the biggest positives about this to me is that uh, according to the Department of Revenue in Jackson that over 50 percent of this money generated, and, and that's conservative, I think it's more, is going to be generated from people outside of Winona. Mayor Jerry Flowers says the tax is a small amount considering the high volume of traffic on the interstate and the revenue seen from the people passing through. This is strictly on prepared foods. If, if you go to Bridges Quickway, you buy a Coke and chips, 7%. But if you buy hamburger fries and a fountain drink, 9%. The money from the tax will go towards funding things like parks and recreations, paving streets, and beautifying downtown. It's going to be paid by people who do not live in Winona, but who, who use our streets, who, who use our facilities. And that's, I mean, it's one of the fairest taxes that I see. Winona Main Street Director Sue Stedman says many things need to be done in the town to continue attracting visitors, and the almost $200,000 expected to come from the tax will make those things happen. Around 97% of the tourism tax return to us, and we only get from sales tax, the city of Winona only gets around 18%. So that's going to be a, a huge difference. Lifelong Winona resident and business owner Shed Hunger says he didn't notice paying a tourism tax while living in Oxford for school and thinks the tax won't be a burden for Winona. Hopefully it will bring in a little more, uh, as it is called a tourism tax, hopefully it will bring in a little more people to Winona and uh, bring in more money to all the local businesses around here. Although only 13% of Winona voters took the polls, the overwhelming majority of those who did vote approved the measure that the tourism tax. It'll go into effect on September 1st.